What's up, YouTube? Uh, this is your boy DJ Kids Spring back again with another tutorial on Virtual DJ. Um, this tutorial is going to be about mainly about our pitch and uh, talking about pitch in general. Um, there's different things you can do with your pitch. You can bend it a little bit. Um, you can speed it up, slow it down. Um, that's what the big question has been is uh, what what can you do with your pitch. Um, so right now what I've got already queued up is an acapella R. Kelly slow wine. Um, right now nothing's on. This is just what you normally hear. Girl, I want to be alone with you just to see what you can do. Ooh, yeah, that's it. All right, now what I'm going to do is speed it up and, and slow it down, and you're going to hear it distort, like, really bad. You can hear the pitch on it. It sounds horrible. All right, and for us DJs to combat that or just to make it sound richer, you got your key lock here. What key, do, key lock does is lock it so you can keep the same tone, pitch, uh, that same sound while you move it up and down. Um, like I said, in order to unlock that, you want to go ahead and hit key lock. Now we're going to play it again and just listen to it. Um, you can hear it slightly distorting, but your pitch and your sound is still there. It's just that it's slowing the song down or your acapella, whatever it may be, slowing it down. This comes in handy when you want to mix a song that's not quite there. I want to say not quite on the same level as that one, um, but but you need it to mix because it's a popular song, like a slow song, okay? Um, another quick thing on here is your pitch reset. Your pitch reset is pretty cool. Um, no matter where it's at, it's going to automatically bring it back down to zero in the zero setting. See, it's as slow it goes down. Um, another thing that you can use, too, is your pitch here which I also use as a nudge when I'm mixing to help it stay on beat. Um, I'm going to play it and you can listen to what it does. You can hear it speed up. You can hear it slow down. But it only does it for that time, the whole duration that you're holding the pitch buttons down. Um, you, I recommend when I'm mixing I usually won't go no more than maybe 10 BPMs higher or lower than whatever the song may be, the current song is playing because after a while it does sound kind of funny, but you know, that's just my preference. Um, you can go up, you know, you can always change it. No matter what you change it to, you can go up to 100%. You can change your percentage right here by clicking on it. It's 50%, 100%, 6%, 12%, 8%. And it goes on. So I'm going to play it at 50%. Now you can really hear the distortion. So um, that's about pitch and key lock. Um, you can actually make it sound better by going to your master tempo here. And setting it either to advanced setting if you have a very hot, you know, a very powerful PC. Or what I usually use is fast stretch. It uses real real low CPU and it fixes this issue up here. Um, the only reason I'm getting a real high CPU, if anybody's wondering, is because I'm recording the video on the same PC and it's using up a lot of memory. Um, quality resampling, all that stuff. I, you know, you can set yourself. The only time my PC, like I said, the only time my CPU, which I'm 
want to talk about a little bit too since I got more than enough time. Your CPU is pretty much what's going on. Um, things in the background. If you have a lot of apps, hold on, I'm sorry, not apps, but if you have a lot of stuff down here, disable it. If you got uh, Facebook or internet going or a whole bunch of other stuff that you don't need going, get rid of it. Shut it off because all it's going to do is make your system crash. Um, the more stuff you have caught, cut off, the more power you're, you can use. Um, you use up a lot of CPU when you're recording. Um, also, another thing you might want to do to increase your CPU, even though pitch and, C, you know, pitch and what we're talking about is two different things, um, you can also go to your control panel. Depending on if you're using Windows 7 XP or whatever, or Vista. Sorry, it's going to take a while because I'm recording. And go in your system maintenance. And then you want what you want to do is appearance and personality. You want to go or go to your performance tools. Sorry. And what you want to do is change, adjust the power settings if you're using a laptop or something. If you're using a laptop, you want to set it to high performance. High performance, and you'll get that get what you need out of it. The other thing that you want to do is change your appearance. You want to have it set to best quality for. best quality for the computer okay just for best performance that's what you want you want performance you don't care about the background you want performance um, also another thing you may also need to do which will stop a lot of the problems is change your processing scheduling from programs to background services if you have not already done some that has fixed a lot of issues okay a lot of issues Everything else, it's just up to you. If you got a lot of stuff on here, clear a lot of stuff off. If you got a lot of music, put it on a hard drive. Videos, put it on a hard drive. The less stuff that's on here to clutter it up, the better it is. Okay? Um, that's pretty much it about pitch and key, key lock. Um, look out for my next tutorial. My next tutorial will be on... I'm going to do another tutorial on mixing acapellas with instrumentals. And if you have any other questions, we can talk about those. Uh, but look out for my, another video, my next videos. Um, also, a big shout out to 8th Wonder CD Pool. That's where I get a lot of my music from. And 12-inch uh, uh, inch record, my 12-inch records. I'll put a link down there for them too, but that's where I get a lot of my stuff from. Um, Anything else, uh, leave a comment. If you want some more tutorials, let me know. Later.